The aerial view of Kibera slums depicts a cool picture, as if all is well, but that isn't the case. Interact with residents here and the picture will be well painted. On this day we visit Silanga area. Nilizaliwa bila upande wa kuenda cho. So nimekuwa nikipitia changamoto mingi katika mashule kutembea siwezi nikaenda safari ndefu jua hiyo shida. Maisha yangu nimepitia machungu sana. Kila siku nimeishi na uchungu. Lakini navumilia tu wanashindwa hii dunia nitafanya nini? Nikipita kwa watu hata nikitumwa kwa duka watu wanaposikia hii harufu tu. Watu wanasema eh na huyu ananuka aje. We meet 22 year old Christine Anyango. She suffers from urinary incontinence otherwise known as involuntary leakage of urine. Besides the constant stigmatization, she is also having sleepless nights. Nachekelewa, majirani, marafiki, hata siyezi nikakuwa na marafiki. Nauliza mungu wangu, kwa nini mimi niteseke hivi, nilikosea mungu nini. Nikienda kazi inafukuzwa. Nikipata hata mtu mzuri tu, yani, Akiona hiyo shida anasema pana hiyo haiwezekani kuna siku nilitaka kukunywa sumu ili nikufe tu niondoke lakini nirudi kujifikiria mtoto akishakuwa sana anataka kuwe na mwenzake anatamani akikutana na mwenzake anaona hiyo mikojo wanamotoroka nimejaribu vyenye nawezekanao napeleka kinyata narudisha bado bado shida ni ile ile tu paka saa hii nimechoka nimesindwa nitafanya nini Christine's family is not well off and the everyday life challenges adds to her misery. Mimi sina uwezo, niko na watoto wengine hapa pia nimezaa. Pia babao ana mwelekeo yote. Mimi naomba tu usaidizi kwa huyu mtoto. Kaa ambao anaangalia ningependa waweze kunisaidia. Now according to medical experts the condition is manageable. However, urologists advise patients to be very cautious in every step they take in regard to the medical interventions. This kind of thing we call them overactive bladder. That I means the bladder is overreactive. It is acting. I mean, or in, uh, in investigative, you know, urodynamic terms, you call it detrusor hyperactivity. Detrusor is the muscle of the bladder. So when it's hyperactive, so whichever term you will, you, you will use, but at least you know that the bladder is overactive. Urinary incontinence can be due to stress factors such as coughing. It can happen during and after pregnancy and it is more common with conditions such as obesity. The changes of having the condition is increased with age. Bladder control of Kegel exercises can help prevent or reduce it. What makes anybody to seek medical help or even the child talking to his mother is this disturbing and voiding tendencies, agencies, urge, you know, they cannot hold it. Kwa vila kikaa, hiyo mikojo, inapita. Watoto wawo wengine wanamuangadia kwani huya kwa aje. Sasa mimi na watolea uka, ukali. Sitaki waseme. Sababu huyu sasa ni mtoto mkubwa na ibika. This kind of patients, they are young, active. We like to start with what is called conservative management. We want to see behavioral changes, lifestyle modifications, something that will impact on their disease. These are sometimes, we, we don't even call, maybe qualify them as diseases, they are like symptoms. You now can now supplement the behavioral or lifestyle modifications with some prescriptions, some drugs, medications. These medications specifically work on the muscles of the bladder. Christine has been forced to drop out of school due to shame. Shule ni marafiki zangu. Nilikuwa tu na rafiki mmoja hawa wengine walipojua walitoroka. Umejua ile wakati nilikuwa mtoto nikiwa chekechea. Walikuwa najua ni ile hali ya utoto. Lakini wakaona tu bado inazidi tu kuendelea. Bado tu inazidi kuendelea di ukubu. As a mother and a person who is doing project in the society, I said I think this is a right project that I should accommodate in my, in my, in my, in my CBO. So I talked with the parents and the parents told me her story from childhood. I sympathized, I empathized with her and I said I'm going to accommodate her as my child. Problem is a problem and it has a solution. So the more we give that public, ed public education, and all that, I think it will get there somewhere. For now, she is hopeful that her condition can be rectified so that she can live a normal life. Now, Christine is 22 years old, and since when she was in her childhood, 
She has been undergoing a lot of pain, and now she hopes that one will come to her aid. Reporting for K24 TV from Silanga Kibera in Nairobi County, I'm Nixon Kisaka.